So, turns out Next.js routing can actually be not as straightforward as it initially seems. There are some advanced patterns you don't have to use, but you can use if you want to that make your app that much better. A lot of people have asked me, Josh, talk about parallel and intercepting routes. Those are new. Those were not possible before the app router was introduced and they're pretty neat. If you take one concept that's parallel routes and then the second one that's intercepting routes, and put them together, you get really cool use cases that significantly improve the user experience of your app. Let's see how they do that, because it's pretty interesting. And the first concept are parallel routes. And what these allow you to do is take a look at this. In your app router, we have a layout.ts file. We always have this file because it is enforced by Next.js, at least in the root directory. And what we can do to parallel render multiple pages is the following. We can create a folder inside of our app router, and we need to call this something with at. That is the convention we use so we can allow parallel routes to happen, essentially rendering completely separate code to completely independent pages in the same layout. For example, if we wanted to call this at modal, we could. It's just important it is something with at. And what happens now is very interesting. Simply because we have created this at modal folder right here, this is automatically going to be passed into or uh, that is a pretty fat arrow into our layout.ts and we can receive it as props in the layout. So you know how we normally receive the children in the layout, right? This is the whole document and we display it in the layout. Well, now we also receive kind of like the children, the modal, whatever we call this right here in the layout, which means that we can render both. We can render the children alongside the modal at the same time, even though they are completely independent pages. Take a look at this file, for example. This is for an upcoming long form video, so I might need to censor some information to not spoil anything. But you can see right here on the left hand side, we have an at auth modal and an at create community modal. We receive these models right here alongside the children. And in fact, they are the same type as the children, because after all, they're nothing else than a regular page with its content. So we can receive the auth model in the layout that is at the same level at the folder we have created with the ad and can then display that model right here alongside with the regular children as we would normally. Now this by itself doesn't seem super useful, right? Yeah, we can render parallel routes, but why would we? And this pretty simple concept becomes very powerful when we combine it with a whole different topic that is also an advanced routing structure in the new app directory. And that is inter oops, intercepting, which means we can intercept requests before they are forwarded to handle custom logic inside of them. Let's say, for example, on our page, we had a login button, mostly in the nav bar, but we want two separate behaviors for this login button. When we click this and we are on any page, we want a modal to show up instead of actually taking us to the login page. We want to stay on the same page. That is the very important thing to take away here. We are not changing the actual page when clicking this login button, but instead the page stays the same, but a modal pops up asking us to enter login data. We can close this modal like with an X in the top. If we press this, we have nothing changed, right? We're still on the exact same page. But the important thing is the URL in here has actually changed. So we are on localhost 3000 slash login. So the URL pretends we're on the actual login page, even though we're not. This is simply shown as a model and we're still on the home page or wherever we were before. This happens if we click a link component, if we do a soft navigation. If we are on the modal page and hard reloads, that means clicking this icon here in the top browser or hitting Control R, what happens in that case is we actually get navigated to the main login page. So this is not just a modal, let's say actual page right here and put it at the bottom to make it very clear that this is simply showing up as a modal we can close. And this navigates us to the actual page if we do a hard reload while the URL is the same. The URL did not change. And the content of each page can be defined separately. So for example, you wouldn't want an X to close a model, but instead what you might want is a button that takes you back to the home page because this is an actual page now 
and set off the model. Check it out in practice. We can open the login as a model when we're anywhere on the homepage. But if I reload the page, then notice this is the model. If I reload this, then this will open up as the regular page. Instead of the X to close the modal, there is a back button that will take us back to the homepage. Interesting, and we can also do this on multiple routes that are being intercepted. The URL changes as well, but the actual underlying page that we are on does not change. It's still the homepage, even though I am changing the URL. And only if we reload, then will the actual page show up as the complete page instead of just the model. And achieving this is pretty straightforward. Let's take a final look at the routing structure. So for example, in the model, we wanted to intercept, and let's remove the fat arrow for a second here. We wanted to intercept a certain route. For example, one that is handled at slash sign up, right? That's the case from the app I just showed you. We want to intercept the sign up route. So this sign up will also have its own page.tsx, of course, because that's what Next.js demands. However, currently nothing is being intercepted yet. What we need to do to achieve that is in this add modal component, define which routes we would like to intercept. And we can do that by creating a folder in here with the name of whatever we want to intercept. For example, let's put this in parentheses and navigate to the same directory. That means this root level directory where the add modal is at and where the slash sign up is at. And this works kind of like the file system. We can also enter dot dot to navigate back a directory, which in our case would be the main app directory, which is not where we want to go to, but instead we want to stay at the directory where the add modal is at. And then we can simply define the page that we want to intercept. We can say, dot sign up. So these two blue files are responsible for the intercepting. And the interesting part is we can define a custom behavior, whether we are intercepting or whether there's a hard refresh. So let's separate this out just a little bit to make it a bit easier to see. For example, if we are hard refreshing the page, then this page.tsx is where we will go to because we're doing a hard refresh. If we are anywhere on the page by clicking a link button that would take us to the slash signup page, then this add modal in turn with the dot signup that we are intercepting would recognize, okay, this routing behavior is about to happen. Therefore, instead of rendering the actual page.tsx, only render the intercepted page.tsx, which is our modal. Hey, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, and liked parallel and intercepting routes, chances are you're gonna really enjoy my full walkthrough of the Next.js 13 app router. It involves everything from SEO to routing, everything you need to build modern applications. That's it for me. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.